All right, so I'm here with um, Jamie Portillo of El Paso, which is a pretty, pretty interesting book he was telling me about yesterday. Um, why don't you tell me the, the gist of, of this character and, and what it is you're, you're, you're doing here with El Paso? Well, El Paso, the story of Dallas Stoudemire is based on this marshal, Dallas Stoudemire, who used to live in El Paso from 1881 to 1882. Not too many people know about him. So I wrote a comic book about him, put it all together in one trade paperback, and along with that comic book, I added over 30 bonus pages, which includes historical photos, newspapers, and, histor and uh, historical facts. That way, what happens when someone's reading the comic book, not only do they read the comic book, they see what happened before or after certain gunfights, and they also see what happened after the comic book ends. Yeah, I thought it was very fascinating that you base it on, a, on real life real life events. Mm -hmm. um, that's, that's something we don't see uh, too often with comics. What, and uh, did you used to live in this area? What, what inspired you to, to um, tackle El Paso? Well, I'm from El Paso, Texas. So when I, I've been writing comic books since uh, 2007, 2008. And now when I was doing research on one cowboy, I found out about Dallas Stoudemire, and I really didn't know anything about him. So when I kept reading about him, I was like, oh, cool, this, this will make a good story. So I took some notes on him, and then later on, I went ahead and I wrote a comic book about him. And uh, the thing is, I also have a history degree. So I've always been interested in comic books and history. So I thought it would make a great combination to work on. Yeah, I, I think it, I think it ends up working very well. And um, what other what other are what are the other main characters and the other main story arcs? Well, in this one, you have a couple, you know you have his his rivals, the Mannings. You have his brother-in-law, Samuel Cummings. But I've also read a, I've also read two other books. One is called Gabriel. It's a vampire graphic novel based on the femicides of Juarez, Mexico. And my take as a vampire that's committing the crimes. That was the first book that I worked on, and the cool thing about it was it, it won a Zebra Grant, which is starred by Peter Larry, co-creator of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And then I did another one called The Railroad Killer. It's a short story about a cop trying to see the railroad killer as a man or a monster. I, I, I think I think it, they both work out really well. You know, when you have a, a serial murder like that, we we like to believe that it is something supernatural, like a vampire, mm -hmm. rather than you know, just someone who's gone so dark, you know, in, in real life, you know? Yeah, well, when I wrote, I wrote that comic book while I was living in D.C. back in 2000, between 2005 and 2008. But I was living in El Paso, you know, since, since uh, 1973 when I was born. But in the 90s, uh, the femicides were occurring, but it seemed like nobody really knew what was going on. Unless you lived outside El Paso, it seemed like no one knew about it. So I told myself, you know, I would like to write a story about this. You know, give it a little twist and just let people know what's going on at that time. Yeah, I, I think that that's quite a quite an inspiration for a, for a comic and ends up achieving good thing because it helps people um, be more aware of stuff that's happening outside, you know, outside their area. Yeah, you'd be surprised how many people stop by my table and look at the comic book and they tell me, hey, I don't know anything about this. Yeah. So, it, you know, it, it brings it to the spotlight. Perfect. Well, thanks for speaking with me. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Thank you.